Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've tried out AI image and video generation apps, you know how frustrating it can be when you're only given a handful of credits, or even worse, no free trial at all. It can really hold you back from fully exploring what these apps can do. But don't worry, today I've got you covered. I'm going to walk you through how to create a complete video using both images and video clips with an AI app. And here's the best part. If you ever run out of credits, keep watching until the end because I've got a simple way to keep things running for free so you don't have to stop creating. Stick around and if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe for more awesome content like this. Perfect. Um, first thing we're going to do is click the link I've got for you in the description. Now we've got a few options to sign in. We can go with Google, which is usually what I do, or we can use signing. But today we're going to do something a little different. You can totally sign in with Google and your email, no problem. Um, but I'm going to show you a little trick. We're going to use a web app called TempMail. That way, if we run out of credits, we can just regenerate them using the temp mail. It's a cool little hack to let you reuse your account once the credits are used up. So instead of clicking on sign in with Google, uh, we're gonna click on sign up for free. The first thing we do is enter our temporary email that temp mail will provide us. So let's go to temp mail app. You'll see it generates a new address for us. Um, go ahead and copy that. Head over to the image generation app site and let's paste it in the enter your email field. Then click send code and we should get our code. Let's go back to temp mail and here we got our code sent to our temporary email address. Let's copy it and um, paste it here. Then click continue with mail. Um, now let's create a password. Uh, I'll just pick Google's suggested password to simplify things for now. And there we go, we're in, and they're giving us 300 credits to start generating our images. So if you run out of credits, you just need to repeat the same process. Just delete the temporary email address and you'll get a new temporary email address. So just repeat the same process. Now, let's see how our app works. I'll create a sample image of a cute little kitten with sunglasses. I just made a prompt in ChatGPT. If you wanna learn how to create awesome image prompts, check out my video. I'll drop the link in the description. Copy your prompt, paste it in. Let's select our image model. Um, we have two options here, Flux Dev and Flux Schnell. I'll go with Flux Schnell. Let's close this and head back to our prompt field. Hit generate, and there we have it. Our adorable little kitten showing off some dance moves. All right, let's switch things up a bit. Um, we're going to create a long video featuring a group of beautiful women playing volleyball at the beach. We'll start by gathering a bunch of images, then use our app to turn them into a full video and see how it turns out. But before we jump in, let's take a quick look at the app's features. It's all really easy to use. Now, if you don't have an image, no worries, just write your prompt here and it'll generate an image for you. I asked the system to generate the image of a beautiful woman. There's our new image, now we're good to go. Um, next up, let's go over some of the settings. What I love about this app is how easy it is to use. Here we choose the model we want to use. There are two main options here, Real Motion 2.0 and One 2.1. I'm going with Real Motion 2.0. Now, this next option is for music. You can choose your song here and even listen to it. For example, I'm picking this one, but if you've got your own audio, you can upload it here by just clicking and uploading your file. For the lip sync, you've got some choices. You can generate the speech with the help of the AI. You can either upload an audio or record one. I'll leave it off for now, but if you want to sync it with your video, you can turn it on. Now, inside the lip sync section, you'll see two options. One for human head images and one for animal head images. This is cool because some models only let you use lip sync for humans, but this app lets you use it for both. 
Um, you can use lip sync with animals too, which is a nice little feature that sets this apart from others. Um, for this video though, um, I'm skipping the lip sync because I don't need it. Next, we just put in our video prompt. It's super simple. Now, in the control section, we can adjust whether we want a 5 second or 10 second video. I'll keep it at 5 seconds for this test. To remove the watermark, you'll need to be on the paid plan, but I'm leaving it as it is for now. Once we're good to go, just hit generate and it'll cost you 30 credits. You'll see it start processing the video and here's how it looks as it's being generated. And there is our video ready. She's smiling and moving gently as she looks at the camera. All right, now that we've checked out the app's features, let's keep it moving and piece together all the small clips to make our long video. All right, so I already created my first image with a little help from ChatGPT. Now it's time to turn it into a video. Let's type in the video prompt field. They are posing and smiling. Next, let's test the Prompt Enhance button and see how it works. And we got a nice long prompt. Four women in vibrant red bikinis stand confidently on a sunny beach, their hair flowing in the breeze. Um, it came up with a perfect prompt for us. After that, click Generate Video, and our first video is on its way. And there we have our first video ready to go. We've got our initial results. There we have our four beautiful women posing and smiling for the camera. Don't forget to download it. Now let's move to the next one. All right, let's keep going. Now we're going to upload our images. So the first thing we need to do here is upload the photo that we've generated. It's uploading now and there it is. We've got our image ready to go. All right, let's quickly check out our settings. For the model, we're sticking with Real Motion 2.0. For the music, I'm gonna keep it quiet. So I'll just select no music, no lip sync either. For the prompt, I'll type in, she is aiming to smash a volleyball. I'll set the video control to five seconds and now I'm gonna hit generate and we got our video. In the prompt, I wrote, she is aiming to smash a volleyball and it's following the ball, but it's not perfect. No worries though, download it and let's upload another one. The idea here is to generate multiple images so you've got a nice stock of footage to work with and then we can go ahead and edit them. Let's upload another one and generate it again. We've got another image. This one isn't bad at all. Let's see how the video turns out. The video looks good. However, there is an extra ball that pops up here, but don't worry, we can regenerate the video. Now, check this out. These are some of the videos we've generated. We can open them and see what they look like. Uh, some of them have the ball and some don't. You can grab clips of three or four seconds from your stock footage to put together and make your final video, and that's it. We got some great footage now to work with. Now, let's check out our video. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this guide helpful and that you're ready to start creating your own AI generated videos and images. Remember, if you ever run out of credits, you now know how to get more free credits to complete your project on this app. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment with any questions or thoughts, and of course, subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.